Well, the Maharashtra government has released its real, real estate regulatory document and it turns out that most of it has been framed to suit the industry. You as a home buyer has been, have been left completely and utterly out in the cold. There are several problems, viewers, with this document. To give you a recap, the Real Estate Regulatory Bill was passed by Parliament earlier this year. Every state government was meant to write specific rules that will be applicable in every state. Several states have done that job. The Maharashtra government missed its deadline over and over and then finally released its rules yesterday. We took a look at the rules yesterday. We found several problems. We looked at it again today and we found worse problems. This entire set of rules are a sham, viewers. They, give, they leave massive gaping loopholes for developers to get out of their responsibility. Massive gaping loopholes. Scam and sham number one. The escrow account where the developer is meant to put money that he gets and he collects from buyers does not apply to money that has already been received. So if you have bought a home and that home has not been completed because the developer has run out of cash, there is no way to solve that problem through these rules. The government is giving the, reg the developer a clean chit to get out free. Worse still, it specifies that any loans that have been taken by the developer from banks, financial institutions or money lenders without definition of what a money lender is can be paid out of this escrow account instead of focusing that money on construction. But the worst part of it all, viewers, and I'm going to take a minute to explain this to you as to why it is so horrible. It is on page number 10 of these rules, which is uploaded on the website of the government. On page number 10, it says very clearly that principal sums already paid and those payable by the developer can be taken out of this escrow account, which means that if this developer had taken a loan from his friend at some point and paid that loan back, he can now dip into that escrow account that is meant for construction and use that money. Completely, completely making this entire set of rules void, toothless and unable to help the home buyer. That is scam number one. Scam number two. We've known very clearly that one of the ma massive problems that home buyers have had is that carpet area never turns out to be what it was promised to be. On page 45 of the rules, it says very clearly, and I will read it out to you, that carpet area can be recalculated on possession. And if the carpet area turns out to be more than what was agreed, the buyer has to pay the difference in 45 days. If there is a plan that has already been approved and that plan was then sold, where is the question of the carpet area changing on possession? These are the problems that we have found apart from several other problems in the real estate rules written by the Maharashtra government. The thin, fine, good line here, the silver lining is that we have 14 days to give in our suggestions and objections to the Maharashtra government and there are many suggestions and objections and I invite you viewers, especially those of you who are suffering from problems that you have had when buying homes, to pick up the phone and call us and tell us what those problems are and we will include it in suggestions and objections that we will send to the Maharashtra government. But today in the studio with me is Uday Vavikar, the president of the Consumer Court Bar Association of uh, Mumbai, Ramesh Prabhu is the chairman of the Maharashtra Housing Welfare Association. Aditya Pratap is an advocate with the Mumbai High Court. Shirish Deshpande belongs to the Fight for Rera group. He's also the chairman of Mumbai Grahak Panchayat. Rajan N. Bandelkar is the vice president, west of Naredko. And Harshad Bhabde is, the, is an advocate with the High Court who has been studying these rules very, very carefully. I want to start with Ramesh Prabhu. Ramesh Prabhu, let's start with problem number one. Yeah. The fact that principles of loans that have been paid already in the past hmm. can be taken out of the escrow account for ongoing projects. I think uh, this is where the rules have made such a ridiculous step 
See, what happens is uh, so many people will show that there is family has invested and various other people have invested for the purpose of land or for the development and other things. And the interest 24% or 36% will be accrued on that. And that is what we call in the accounting term as an entry. And thereafter, once the money comes from the you know consumers, no doubt 30% is anyhow taken away and remaining 70% out of that they will say that it is a principal amount, these are interest and this is accrued interest and for the last four or five years that will be shown and mm. that will be withdrawn which means the consumer will always be high and dry and the very purpose where the escrow account has been <coughs> incorporated for the purpose of you know putting the money for that particular project I think it will be vanishing slowly. You so know, I, I think this is a I want to bring in Shirish Deshpande. Step. Shirish Deshpande, as someone, as, as, as a home buyer who has fought for ERA for so long, now we have the real estate regulator. And this real estate regulator seems to not care about the home buyer. This real estate regulator has been designed for industry. How does this make you feel? Uh, well, as you rightly said, that we still have 14 days time and I'm still optimist. As an activist, we have to be optimist and uh, let's try to put the house in order. The rules that have been framed and published yesterday appear to be totally lopsided and more inclined in favor of the builders. We need to tilt the balance thanks to the media which is actually highlighting all these things and I hope that a corrective action will be taken. But if not taken, let me say this here through your channel that many of the rules that have been framed here and published are totally inconsistent with and in violation of the main act RERA. And if it goes like that only in the final rules, we will definitely challenge that in the court of law and see that they are set aside. Uday Vavikar. Uh, I am Vidish Sirish, but Sirish is being optimistic, so am I. <laughs> but the point was, where we were in MOFA, we thought it, there would be a better law with a silver line to a common man with uh, with the entire transparency. From there, we have gone. Uh, we are going to a dungeon of a dark alley, uh, and totally heaven to the builder. Now let us come down to two, three points which are most important in this. Point number one is your area of the flat is not decided at the time of agreement. I am astonished and surprised when Mofa was saying that the area has to be a carpet area and the builder has to confirm the carpet area. Even the sellable area was not allowed or you have to disclose what exactly would be the size of the sellable area. The carpet area would include only where the carpet can go and your balconies cannot be included, your staircases cannot be included. Then they started including sellable area, the staircases proportionate, balconies proportionate and proportionate areas of your basements. A lobby etc which was totally illegal 40 to 50 percent loading now we have changed the whole game only you are saying in the rules that if this carpet area will be calculated and the price will be decided after at the time of possession i mean i am astonished what are you trying to do it's a totally unfair trade practice it is totally cheating it is totally uh, taking uh, taking the consumer to a big ride and that, I have no other words than that and, and how government can allow this. this well, really government surprising. has written out those rules. I mean, Hashad, it's Hashad. facts. It's max of something. Well, I think uh, with respect to the experts here, I beg to differ. Okay. The reason is these rules will have to be read along with the Central Act. Hmm. Now, Central Act specifically provides that whatever amount which is deposited in the escrow amount, that you can withdraw Provided there are three certificates which are also described at page 8 mm. in under rule 5 of the state act, state rules, I am sorry. So whatever amount is to be withdrawn can okay. be withdrawn only if the builder satisfies through these three certificates mm. that he has completed his project to that stage. Mm. If he has not completed the project to that stage, merely because in subsequent rule it is mentioned that the amount can be withdrawn for the which is born for the purposes of land cost. That doesn't mean or the interpretation is not so. Okay, so interpret that, this for me. Interpret yes. this for me. Yes. It says yes. everything including, and this is in the definition of cost of construction, including principal sums and interest paid or payable. Principal sums already paid. Yes. How interpret this for me? Yes. How does that now work? 
Tell me no, how that will work. You have to read this first along with Rule 5 Let's 1. Explain it to me. Explain it to me like I'm a five year old. Explain All right. it to See, me. Rule 5, I'll just read it for you. Subclause B says <coughs> For the purpose of the amount to be withdrawn from time to time by the promoter from the separate account to cover the cost of the project, the promoter shall submit following three certificates to yes, the scheduled yes. bank. Explain to me the paid up, paid up principal sums. How does that work? So I've borrowed, I've paid it back. Now I'm taking from my escrow account to offset that. How does that make no, sense? No, he's not, How is that fair? No, no, no. See. And this is, is for ongoing projects where you have said that the money that you've already taken doesn't have to come into the escrow account. So there's no retrospective rule there. There is retrospective rule about the loans that you have taken. How is that fair to the customer? See, the point which I am trying to say here is that you can withdraw the amount subject to the level of completion of the project. If you have completed, let us say, 10% of the project, then whatever amount which is deposited in the escrow account, Fair. you can How under do the loans that headings. have already been paid Fair. off count as cost of construction? Fair. May I explain it to yes, you? Yes, Rajan, please. See, Faye, first of all, let me congratulate you. Hmm. Because the rules have come just yesterday. And you are going so deep into the rule and trying to help the consumer. Yes. We welcome whatever suggestions positive there. Hmm. from the point of Neredko. This, coming to the point what you are raising here, see this rules you have to read it for, for the ongoing projects as well as future projects. So hmm. first... So I'm, first, I'm, I'm concerned yeah. about ongoing projects. So, Let's look so at let ongoing me, projects. Let me, let me complete. Na? So what happens ki the basic is that for future projects to you are 100% safe. The future projects are there ki whatever he has invested and in this if you see he has to declare on the day one as is whatever is his project ongoing cost, project projects. cost, yeah. Okay. So ongoing because projects. Because these rules, if you turn your page back from page 10 to page 9, yeah. the explanation number 3 that I'm referring to is for ongoing projects. I want you to quickly make your point so I can bring in the lawyers who are saying that this is a scam to rebut you. So quickly tell me, how is interest, how is principal already paid fair to the customer? What you're doing is giving, uh, leaving a massive hole where the developer can slip through and get away with it. Not at all. I beg to differ and I will explain it to you. See, when it's an ongoing project, majority of the states have left their projects also. But here, Maharashtra government was very adamant and they have taken all ongoing projects because if the OC all is not received... have taken ongoing projects, sir. No state it's, has left any ongoing project out. It's the a, national channel we're reading everybody's yeah, rules. Nee, for Uttar Pradesh, they have kept it. Ki baba. For example, one state I am telling, whichever but I know. But let's not yeah. get derailed. Focus yeah. on the fact that the Maharashtra government has left the home buyer out in the cold. These rules have not been written for the home buyer. These rules have been written for industry. So that industry can be comfortable. Of course, what happens, you see, these, these people, they are kept a guideline. And they are told, ki, Baba, these are, the today the developer industry is not actually regulated. So by this, it will be regulated. Whatever, but these are whatever bad the, regulations, sir. This is not good enough. Nee, you I'm are, sorry, you are, you this are is not good enough. One, see, if the, if, if the developer has invested his money, if he doesn't take out money and if he keeps... No. How is this the, an investment of money? Hang on. If I'm going to build a building and I borrow 50 crore rupees from you and I give 50 crore rupees back to you, how is this my investment? You can't give it 50 crore immediately. See, you how try is and this understand. My investment? So no, we're talking about payment that has already been made. It's already given back. How is it... An investment on the part of the builder. See, the Interest, total yes. Principal, no. Aditya Pratap, rebut that point. Well, on this point, what I would say is that land is an asset. Hmm. Now, if the builder has, the builder can either purchase land from his own pocket or he can take a this loan to purchase the land. This rule is cost of construction, not land cost. Fair They're enough. Two separate, there's two as, separate heads. I, I agree here. Now, as for, as for the cost of construction is concerned, he may have a loan, he may have an outstanding liability on the aspect of the construction. But... Uh, when he has already f paid for paid the construction, I don't see any problem as such as far as uh, that expenditure is paid for. But yes, there should be no room open to leave for manipulation, you know. And furthermore, if he has taken a loan for construction, to what extent has he mortgaged the property? So every loan which is taken, to an extent there is a mortgage. And it depends Aditya to what Pratap, extent. Yes. Do Here these we are rules saying the leave? money which is already paid Yes. The money which is already refunded and that money he also is allowed to withdraw. We, as it is 30 percent he can take out and the loan which he has already paid from the various other sources also can be taken away by him from that 70 percent which is a matter of concern. 
How is the how is a loan that has already been paid cost as come into cost of construction? Uday Vavikar, exactly. this is a I, this is a I, scam, I, it's, it's and a, it's a scam that took us two days to find. The average home buyer can't even find it. it we needed a, lawyers to look through this. It is this is what the government pay, is doing to us. Say it is a total scam because it's a whitewash. to the cost of construction on one side you are saying you are allowed to withdraw as per the stages of construction and you have already allowed him to withdraw before so what is this double withdrawal and this is something giving a total cheat to the builders to take off the, uh, the to take uh, the entire idea of 70% escrow has been totally uh, taken away by this let me make this very clear to our audience what what we are talking about if there is an audience member out there who has bought a home that did not get constructed or got delayed or got delayed inordinately and you expected that the real estate regulator will come rera aayega that the real estate regulator will help you i am very sorry to tell you that the real estate regulator cannot help you because there is a huge massive hole that has been left in these rules for developers who have not finished their projects to slip out of it has been written specifically to make sure that these people do not get caught now my phone lines are open if you are watching at home and you were hoping that rera will help you pick up the phone and call us and tell us the problems you are facing shirish desh pande on behalf of home buyers huge gaping hole uh yes now again i will just draw one more attention to your another point in the same rules <clears throat> you know how they allow the builders to get away with all the things mm -hmm. you know some of the definitions that they have said the land cost shall include they have mentioned overhead cost marketing cost legal cost and supervision cost these are all vague things where you can build up a lot of things without actually incurring the thing what is marketing cost not defined in the rules so anything that is paid even under the table will be loaded on the consumers to so all these things are you know the way as i fully agree with you the way it has been drafted they have been drafted only to suit the convenience of the builders fair one more yeah. thing on conveyance uh, shri should also join me on that the original conveyance was within 4 months of the registration of societies and if no period is uh, given then the 4 four, four months again from the registration of society now the conveyance is within one month of registration of society but look at the beauty what the conveyance will be there will be only of the flat and the building no podium parking no basement totally given to the builder and, and the time frame of that conveyance is set the by the builder yeah from the oc builder doesn't get the oc within 3 months from the oc then what 10 years people builder doesn't get oc no conveyance podium parking with builder the basement with builder how can that be entire building uday uday i may add, case, uday i may supplement to you again on this that the, you know the smartly the rules have been now so framed that even formation of the society yes. with the main act said that it will be done after 50% of the flat buyers book the flats correct in the project these rules totally going at tangent with the act and then they said when 60% of the flat members uh, flat purchasers are given possession on the receipt of the oc my god now this is going totally in tangent uh, and uh, after this cannot all stand the, the scrutiny of law this is only to favor the builders to the extent possible so that is how with the whole thing i agree shirish because so that the society cannot uh, take the conveyance exactly. and then the builder rules and builder sales all the fsi and td are or take take advantages ramesh prabhu yeah see these rules yeah, are a slap in the face of home buyers who've been waiting 6 years 7 years 8 years for their homes no in fact uh, it is such a discouraging and uh, i never thought that maharashtra government would do this type of things because this is a government where we were thinking proactive and where the first time the regulator was brought in and various discussion took place and we thought they will come forward in a very positive way all the rules which have been made as you have pointed out to one is about the carpet area what i am thinking is suppose uh, tomorrow the area which they have promised and because without uh, consent of two third also they can change the plan and they will uh, instead of you know once the rate goes up they may show that uh, it is a lesser area which have, we have agreed maybe they will make an agreement for 750 they will take the money and uh, then uh, they will say now the area <coughs> is less so which means 
I think this is uh, where the clarity is not there and uh, any time the plan is allowed to be changed without the consent of the two-third of the uh, allottees and even for the conveys as was pointed out, here all the money has to be received, then only the conveys can be given. You will show some amount is outstanding, interest is outstanding and uh, you will uh, delay the things. So the carpet area which is the prime requirement that has been done away with, all the disclosure which was supposed to be there in the act. In the act it is given all the document which is given for the registration should be open to the consumers and it is consumer which is available for viewing. Here everything has been hidden, nothing is available for the consumer. It will be with the regulator and if you want we have to go under RTI and I, under RTI also they will say it is a private information. It cannot be given, it is a secret information. Well I would, so, I would certainly agree on that I think point. This is all you know totally I was, it is against the consumers. I do not know what, what basis, what the way this uh, drafting has been done. I, uh, see, we are see, but one point is to be noted here, these, these rules need not discourage us. Because these rules which are framed, they are not an act. They are rules which are framed under but Section 84 Prasad, of the Act. The tone in which the rules have no, been framed. No, I understand. The tone in which the, no, the intent agree, in which the rules have been framed. These rules are highly retrograde. They tend to give a go by to builders. But yes, if I'm a flat buyer, will I let these rules curtail my rights? The answer is no. I can directly say that these rules are ultra virus the RERA Act. When the RERA Act says something, the government of Maharashtra cannot go contrary to the will of the parliament. So yes, it is possible to override the rules, but yes, it will be a costly procedure, it will involve litigation, so that means and it will take time. The, what is the purpose of bringing a RERA? That there should not be litigation. It but should be right consumer now we've just it opened ourselves up for far more efficient. litigation. But the other thing I want to point out, the other thing I want to point out is that yeah, these rules, that. these rules, Aditya, yes. are so, and I'll bring Harshad in on this, these rules are so randomly and loosely worded. The word etc. being used over and over again. So many things not defined. Money lenders not defined. It's so vague. It opens it up to so much litigation. It's such a bad job, Harshad. And the worst thing is, yeah. See, first of all, I think we are anticipating too many things. Like when you speak about that there are certain disclosures which are the authority may not permit. This is an anticipation. Why? We don't know what, what well, exactly the rule itself says. Oh, it says so so it is written. No, no, it doesn't it say, it the doesn't say the that yes, the regulator cannot override the rules. The rules. No, no, it doesn't. It nowhere says that the disclosures which are made under Rule Four are not to be shown on the website. It, it does say, it does say, say, say I don't think my lesson is saying something. No, no, we should read it again, we should read it again. No, no, I don't need to read it again, I've read it many times. No, no, let, let, let my friend read it again, yes. for his knowledge. Yes. It clearly says yes. that, uh, I will read the rule 20, yes. for the purpose of clause B34, uh, authorities shall ensure that all the disclosures made by the promoter to the authority with regard to the real estate project for which registration has been given shall be made available on website except the following. Following means uh, the declaration which has been given, uh, the escrow account will be opened and all the land title, all that is not to be disclosed. Again the details uh, which is given in real, uh, rule 3.2 where the various documents which has been demanded by the registrar or the regulatory authority for the purpose of registration that also need not be disclosed. No, but that, means, that is a bad rule. You are hiding in that the rule carpet. is ultra virus the parent act. Because by this way, the rules claim to hide all information pertaining to FSI, building plans, Absolutely. statutory clearances, all these will be hidden from the website. And Pratap, that is title. the cream. Title you, also. Yes, you are removing what, the cream. What you are giving, giving the consumer, the consumer my friend milk. is saying, no, oh, we are expecting. So the what, most what these rules the, the are, substance you're removing, what these rules I, are, we are a smoke screen. You are taking away the bread and giving stones. Uh, may, I, may, I, may I suggest one thing? In fact, yes. you know, this yes. rule 20 has been drafted in such a way and it is such a serious issue that in fact, I think a probe has to be conducted in this. Who is the draftsman of this? Hmm. And who dictated this? Because no. the main act says that, yes, the very purpose of this act is to ensure transparency in the real estate sector. And you black out all the things. You don't let us know that on the website what is going to be the project details. Okay, let me, let me, Mr. Mr. Sri Sespandi, yeah. let me just explain this to our viewers so they understand. Yeah, the conversation yeah, yeah. is okay, becoming fine. a little technical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to leave our viewers out. Okay, fine. So basically, when the rules, when the, when the government in Delhi framed the law, they said very specifically that every building before it begins to sell a single apartment has to first be registered with the regulator. 
And in that registration, the developer will have to give a long list of details that are important for customers to know. Like who owns the title of this land? What is the exact building plan so that it cannot be changed? Now remember, it also says that you can't change your building plan without getting two-thirds written approval from the people who have already bought. If I don't know what your building plan is, how will I give you approval? Now, what this Maharashtra rule has done is left out a lot of very, very important things that says you give this to the, uh, to the regulator, but we will not put it up on the website. It will not be available for prospective customers. It will not be available for all to see. I don't understand why this massive loophole. Why are we leaving out details that are obviously important for customers to know, important enough for the central government to have listed it, but the Maharashtra government has not. Rajan? See, even if they, see, these all the rules are there with the authority. Hmm. Even if the people want, the person who is buying a flat, he can jolly well ask, see, the rules are not needed. So One I have second. to go seeking each piece of information. The, because see, because he's, he is a buying a flat, so he is so, the authority. So Otherwise, there why? is one see, more to be added. No, 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 Let's just respond to this. You are saying, you are saying that because I'm buying a flat, I need to go piecemeal, like a little beggar, and okay. say, please give me my... Not please which is my right. No, no, and then no, go under you, right what of What is your problem with disclosure? You what is your problem buy, with disclosure? Me, buy, what is your person, problem with disclosure? You're not understanding basically what happens. The person who is not buying the flat, if they go check, check, the, check all the papers on the website, it is there... So these, these all the what happens? Explain to us, explain to us, sensitize so, us, explain so, to us what will happen the, if someone who is not buying a flat why he should be interested in why? looking at that flat? See what the look, project says. Why will he look through when, your website? What are you afraid of? No, no, explain so, to me what you are afraid of. It is not the question of afraid of because we know what is going on what in the past. What is going on? What is see, going on? Tell me what is going on. I don't want to repeat because we are no, going. No, we in also a, know we going, what is going on. One and second. What is going one second. In. Let me let me complete. No, see, we, we also know what is going on. We are going in a forward behind the scenes. The history is evident. Not by these rules, Rajan Bandelkar. We are going backwards. The question is who drafted it? Let me see. See, today you should appreciate there is there is a regulator who is sitting there. You, if you have any problem, the person can go and complain. There is a regulator who, by these sets of papers, will do nothing if I have a problem. No, because the regulator will have no ability to do anything, Rajan Bandinkar, if I have a problem. The regulator will open these big white doors that have been allowed for developers to slip through and allow them to slip through. The intention, what we are pointing out here, ladies and gentlemen, even if it's getting too technical, the intention of these rules were wrong. They go against the act that was framed by the central government. The intention and the political intention behind framing these rules was to cut a massive hole and allow developers who are cheating buyers, and I'm not saying all developers cheat buyers. There are several developers in this industry who are doing a good, honest job. They don't need to be regulated. It is the ones who are cheating who need to be regulated. And it's the ones who are cheating who are being let off the hook. No, ultimately, these rules have failed in the object of deterrence. And one more thing to be noted, Section 84 of the RERA Act provides for the rules to be framed. The section only says the rules shall specify what information shall be submitted. The rules do not permit the state government to decide what information should be restricted. Absolutely correct. So the, the, the state government has gone beyond the authorization of this act by saying that certain information shall not be restricted. Now, if you look at these the rules section, are illegal on the face of a prima facie. And that's correct. contrary. Yeah. Should you know, I want to just point go. this out. And, and Rajan was here yesterday as well, Rajan. On one side, developers are arguing that if you are a home buyer, you need to do all your research because you are not doing enough research and the onus is on you, which I will yeah. accept. Yeah. On the other hand, you're saying people who are not going to buy houses are going to go into this website and pull out all my information. So you're telling me that I'm not interested in the information when I'm putting my life savings into something, but I'm interested in the information when I'm not buying a house? Please explain to me what psychology we are talking about here. Do you think that home buyers are interested in information or not interested in information? Not home buyers. Then? I am not telling about home buyers. The people who go on a website and take information. Who are these and people? Anybody can the, be home buyer. Many, the people who are not home buyers, the person who is your home buyer, he can, who will he find can. out what your building plan is. Many, the basic basic is that the person who wants to buy a house, he can go to a developer and automatically when he goes, Obviously you do that mean is to say, not working, which is, is why we have a regulator. Up till now also, up till now also, seeing, I was allowed to go to a developer and I was allowed to ask for plans. We never get plans, Absolutely. which is why we have a rule. In fact, Faith, there are, there are several laws which mandate free and frank disclosure of plans. 
the MOFA Act requires that the copy of the plan shall, attach to, shall be attached to the, to the agreement. Then we have the DC regulations which state Shish that the plan should be, shall yes. be put on public display at the construction site. Moreover, the Bombay High Court, even the Supreme Court have held in several judgments that the plan should be uploaded on the website so that Campa Cola like situations are avoided. How does a buyer know that he is buying a project which has several violations of the DC regulations? No, the tomorrow, the, not... tomorrow the demolition order comes, what will the hapless buyer do? He'll have the... to again file a civil suit against the builder, wait for 10 years for the case to be decided, he'll go broke. Now Wait. the industry so far has been doing the same thing. You pay the it's black tragic. money, you pay the token money, you do this much, you give this and at the time of agreement we'll show this, we'll show that and nothing is parted and that is where the problem is. And if we have to go for the document with the different regulatory authorities again, go for a RT and all, that means you, you are not allowing us to make the decision. No, no I want, I want is to bring interested in going to the different here. websites yes. and collecting the information. Pandey. Yes. If I am interested in a project, then only I will go deeper and I will do the due diligence. Mr. Mr. Deshpande, yes. I spend a lot of time also tracking the financial markets. Okay, The smallest investment you can make is a mutual fund. Now, when I put 500 rupees in a mutual fund, every piece of information is available on SEBI's website, on Amphi's website, on the mutual fund website. Everything is in the public domain. It's printed in the newspapers. I don't have to go to the mutual fund company and say, can you please tell me? The fund manager, where Absolutely. is he investing this money? Now, I don't understand why the real estate industry that commands 1 crore rupees, 20 percent, 20 years worth of my savings, is afraid of releasing that same information. Mr. Deshpande, in your opinion and in your experience, are developers willing to share details when buyers go to them saying, can you please give me the plans? Can you please give me the title deed? No, no, no. In fact, that is the reason why the Act has provided all this transparency mechanism. Okay, and still the builders are at their job of seeing how to defeat that purpose. And thanks to our Maharashtra government that they could be pocketed by the builders and they are still trying to cover all this basic information that is necessary to make a wise decision on behalf of the flat owners. Now remember one thing, home buying is the only transaction of a consumer which is the costliest tra uh, transaction. And that is where the maximum cheating takes place. And that is why the reason is the RERA Act that has come into effect with a very objective of ensuring the transparency. But if this very transparency is going to be cloaked and choked and blacked out, then it defeats the very purpose. And that is why I said in the beginning that in fact one who has drafted this Rule 20 needs to be probed. This is totally malafide. And the, in, uh, the intentions are sinister in, uh, intentions only and to protect the developers and, and not just to protect to the this, home buyers. I can also further add that throughout the past years, builders have found many excuses not to reveal building plans. S on certain occasions, they cite national security <coughs> that these plans will be used by terrorists. Then later on, they claim that these plans will be used by RTI activists to extort money. And now, the latest excuse the industry has said is that if they reveal the building plans, the intellectual property of the architect will be compromised. <laughs> I mean, All frivolous excuses to ensure that, that the, the sharp scrutiny of the plans is never taken out, violations remain hidden, and ultimately, if, if a situation arises of demolition or maybe stoppage of construction, the home buyers bear the brunt and the developer escapes scot free. Well, you know, we should, we should just boil this down to one simple question. And my simple question is this, Uday Vavikar, I'm bringing yes. this question to you. The Maharashtra government was <coughs> entasked with a job of writing rules to protect the home buyer. It was very clear by Agreed. the central government and the Ministry of Housing that these rules are meant to protect the home buyer. Obviously, the Maharashtra government has gone out and done the exact polar opposite of that. Why would a government do something like this? Say, on the Vavikar. contrary, uh, I had an interview with the previous finance minister, Sachin Bawahir, when the first uh, RERA came. And I said, this is a domain and a heaven to the builders. And a lot of uh, provisions which were strict in MOFA were really diluted. But this is one step ahead where the fence is eating Why would the... this happen? But Uday Bhavikar, why would this happen? The, what the, is the motive? I mean, I'm really surprised who has drafted this, first of all. No, no, I think Uday, we don't have to be surprised. It's an open secret. Yes. That the builders have got the government in their pocket. Maharashtra government I, I, in their I pocket. I appreciate what That's Sirius it. is saying. That's and it. And that is bluntly. the straight reason because uh, I'm, I'm really surprised where the parties expect something. 
because uh, the ruling party is supposed to yes. be one of the party of the central mm. Mod, uh, our prime minister is talking lot on the clean government on the transparency cashless society on demonetization against war against the black money and here we are inducing everything to uh, we are living through everything through the black hole to the builders against the consumers and the exploitation has increased so very idea of the supreme court that this act to be a silver line to a common man like a consumer protection act has been washed away by waves Rajan, of all these rules Rajan, washing away all that progress that we wanted on what is the justification for these rules Nini, i strongly don't believe what these people are telling the builders have pocketed the you are a builder yeah of yes. course of course that's why i am telling it that's why i have to that defend it so you have not pocketed yeah. the government forget about me nobody can pocket because the government what do, today it is working see they have work, worked in a positive angle hmm. so till till positive for thing, you i said see so, okay, let me just see, let me just ultimately yes, ultimately, yes. ultimately what i'm telling what i'm telling yes. you want a litigation or you want a home see the woman exactly. the person we don't person don't want to bargain don't bargain please home. the question the is person not wants a home whether we want this or that person wants home in fact no 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 the first thing what let me just like ninesh sangvi is on the phone line and ninesh sangvi we can hear you i'm going to come to you for a second i just want to point out happy customers don't need a regulator good developers who are following the 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 job and doing a good job and delivering the projects on time don't need a regulator unhappy customers the ones who are not being given their home developers who are cheating customers these are people who need regulators so don't tell us the builders are all very good and they will give you their plans because they've not given they're not all good some of them are not all of them are nainesh singh we on the phone line from mumbai you're on the show my question is that we were hoping that good de- talking about the difference between good developer and bad developer good developer definition at least a company like larson and tobro good rage where you can blindly trust don't blindly trust anyone okay. <laughs> well <laughs> don't blindly trust anyone with that. the yeah. bombay reality which is a part of wadia group hmm. they have given us a promise that suggestion <laughs> will be given on or before december 2017 that today the situation is that so far third or fourth building as third or fourth floor has been constructed hmm. i am not expecting the delivery of the position before december 2019 hmm. now they are forcing us to sign the agreement compulsory and mandatory hmm. that they will hand over the positions in 18 subject to in case if fail in uh, materials fail in giving the permission etc etc we have to keep quiet don't sign that agreement they have to sign that agreement absolutely it is against the abinisho white uh, it is unfair trade practice and i would say this would amount to extortion also so i would uh, suggest you please go to the come to the consumer court file a complaint before against the builder and many builders have gone to the jail for violation and including you can look at dlf judgment where for such unfair clauses of the agreement or forcing signing such agreement uh, crores of rupees have been put on the builder yes and this is a breach of contract this is a breach Plain of contract plain and simple absolutely neha is on the phone line from mumbai neha you are on the show go ahead hi uh, i question is about my property which i invested uh, last year uh, this is a uh, located in kanjan mag hmm. and uh, at the time of launch uh, uh, they had uh, given us certain area and now when they are distributing the allotment letter there they are men- they have mentioned a area which is almost 2 uh, square feet less than what they had mentioned during the launch time so is it uh, like uh, the builder is uh, or the developer is uh, does he have the right to do so no he doesn't oh well he does not and i'll, I'll take to answer this this is because the builder when a builder starts construction the area of each flat is defined and certified by the bmc he has to construct in accordance with the certified plan and the flat area becomes clear the moment the plinth is constructed in fact the question of deviation of carpet area does not arise at all and if the carpet area is found to be different it means it means a right from the very beginning when he entered into the contract with you he did not intend to give you the promised area This is, in fact, not only a criminal case of cheating. You also have remedies under the Consumer Protection Act, the Maharashtra Ownership Flats Act, and now with the Unless, RERA coming in. But no, the RERA is Aditya, under a wide scope. Aditya Pratap, with yes. the RERA coming no, in under go. these rules, the, there's a huge gaping loophole no, here, which allows developers on after. possession no, the to recalculate is, the carpet area. The term carpet area has been clear beforehand. I am surprised under the DC regulations. 
the carp see uh, carpet area is directly equal to the FSI but this area. Is, this is exactly the kind of thing we are pointing out. What Neha is facing at this point, yes. this new RERA mm. rules allow a massive loophole. It basically says if on occupation, yes. the developer has to recalculate the carpet area and then reconfirm it. So like it can change over the course of construction and then says if it turns out that there is more carpet area, <coughs> then the allottee has to pay the extra money. It doesn't specify correct, correct. that that extra rate is that rate, today's rate or five years ago when I bought the, the house. The or what is, rate are you going to charge? This is opposed to the public policy. It is an unconscionable contract which is, which is really sham contract. And therefore, it is like the rules of the games are changed even before the game starts. Mr. Nish it's on page number 45, IG, Rajat Bandekar. No, because her, her yeah. area was two square feet, no, if I'm not sure. Two shocked. square feet no, he, less. Yeah. Basically, yeah. So I will what say... I'm, so, what I'm telling, see, you take this in a positive angle. Ki, suppose if it is two square feet less, the builder has to pay her the money. How did it become but two square feet? What, what happens? What, happens, what if I'll, it is two square feet more and I don't have the money to give you? So, it generally what happens... You ki, will charge me interest. Then no, you will no, send no, me a no, quote to see. Yes, you you can't. market that, price see, two days. See, in this, in this, what we can uh, request wow. the government to mention <coughs> a percentage. Hmm. It should not be more. The way. No, no, no. Uh, no, it's no, it's no, 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 and make these monetary adjustments. So, what are you talking about? See, the carpet, no, carpet, there is a yeah. question here. Carpet, carpet area, I will tell you how it becomes different. Because whenever you Did construct... you modify your plans? No, no, not necessary. If no, you no, modify the plan, the carpet area would be different in 100 and 200 square feet. I am telling you 2 and 5 or 10 hmm. square feet. It hmm. happens when you do... Suppose, generally, we, when we take on the plan, the brick sizes, sometimes they come a little different. So, see, you... For example, her flat, I don't know the area, it, it, it might be 600 square feet. And in 600 square feet, if you say 2 square feet, hmm. so it's it's not a big amount. My you try God. and understand. And My for God. her, the positive angle is that if she is getting a less area, so yes. automatically she will get her money back, whatever money she has paid. We, we are not worried about 2 or 5 square foot. You can can multiply, I am just telling you. You can, multiply two, two, you can multiply 2 square feet by, say, 1,000 flats. That is a huge amount. And, and moreover... Then what no, happens? Under you, the DC regulations, the BMC has power to regularly inspect the flat during the stages of construction. DC regulation 8. At, at multiple stages, they have powers to ensure that construction is as per plan. Moreover, while the construction is going on, a flat cannot magically increase or decrease in area. Flats are not made of rubber. Once a plinth is constructed, the BMC verifies the carpet area stays as it is. What this rule clearly does is to legitimize BMC uh, is to legitimize an act of fraud and cheating by builder. No, builder no. says, okay, I'll give you 1,000 square meters, 100 square meters carpet area. He makes carpet area of 90 square meters. And he, he's, he suppresses this, this fact for five years while construction continues. At the time of possession, he says, oh no, the carpet area changed during construction. I'll compensate you or vice versa. Such a situation cannot arise unless or until the builder willfully conceals the extent of FSI obtained by him and Harshad, the correctness of the plans Harshad respond got that. approved. Harshad respond no, no, to see, that. legally I agree that whatever area which is mentioned in the agreement has to be given to the... I'll just, make, I'll there just add be, one more point. There can't be a second argument that you can change the area mentioned in the agreement and then uh, you can go ahead with that and say, oh, we have constructed some other yes. area, so please accept this area. So, I think I agree with uh, this point that yes, whatever area which is mentioned in the agreement will have to be given to the customer no, and one more, at the end of the day. When the BMC approves the plan, the dimensions of a flat are accurate to two decimal points. 12.50, 12.60 meters. The measurements are hyper accurate. Each square meter is accounted okay. for. So, so basically, just to explain this to our viewers, what we are saying is when you buy a home, there is an agreement that is signed and registered saying this is the size in carpet area, ideally, that you are buying. When the home is constructed, there should be no difference between what you signed on and what has been delivered to you. Unfortunately, in these rules, these rules allow for it. Now, Rajan yes. Bandilkar, I agree with you. Maybe there is a two square feet here or one square But these rules leave a massive gaping hole for someone who wants to cheat. Now, someone who doesn't want to cheat doesn't need a regulator. I keep saying it. But someone who wants to cheat and answer this question, <coughs> Rajan, with your hand on your heart, if there is a developer who decided to tweak his plan 
add another flat by taking a little bit out of everybody else, doesn't this rule allow him a loophole? Hundred percent. But what hmm. we'll do, we will suggest Correct. the government. We will suggest the government to keep a percentage because I will tell you how the carpet keep area defines. Keep a percentage. Yeah, uh, close percent, the hole. Two percent. Close yeah. the loophole. Is all yes, I'm saying. Yes, it's 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 right cannot now. Be, there is a loophole. It cannot be more than two percent. I will tell you because and second thing, I want to educate my friend. The uh, BMC, 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 BMC well, approves plan on built-up area, not on carpet area. See the area. No, 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 that's sure. wrong. No, 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 no. It's, yes, it's, it's approved on the it, it every is, BMC it approval. Is approved. The no, 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 no. Carpet area is FSI oh. area. No, 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 is, yes. no, 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 no. In, in every see, BMC plan, the FSI this, and non-FSI areas are clear. I would be, I would be very happy. I would be very happy. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We'll take this. We'll take this discussion off off camera. One second, Aditya. Aditya, Aditya. We'll take this discussion discussion off camera because this particular point right now will not uh, educate our viewers. This is something we should discuss among ourselves. I just want to circle back to the point that this business of taking money out of the escrow and for our viewers at home, the real estate regulator at all was written because of the kind of problems we are having where homes are not being delivered, where builders are taking money and not finishing projects. That was the purpose of the regulator. What has happened in these rules is that entire purpose has been defeated. So for someone who is at home, and Harshad, I'll come to you with this. There is a project in Dahisar being built by DB Realty. It has been waiting now for nearly five years. And these people have received no relief. Is there any relief for them in this new regulatory act? Will this help them at all from these rules at all? What happens to these people? Well, certainly there is a relief under the act. What is Why the relief? Why do you say that there is no relief under the act? In these act? rules, in these rules, yes, what is see, the, what, if, if the escrow does not once, apply. Once no, hang on, hang on. Let me just finish my point. Yeah. These people have paid all the money to the developer. Yes. Nine, more than 90% has, more than 95% has been paid to the developer. The construction is not past three floors. Correct. If the money is not being escrowed, mm. if the money I've already paid doesn't count to be escrowed, how will the money come back into the project? Tell me. All right, so indirectly you want to suggest that the rules do not make any provision to bring back the money which has already been... Oh, if there is some other provision which will allow the buyers of the DB Realties Dahisar project to get their homes, please point it out to me. No, there is See, no such provision no, no, uh, in the no Act. There is no question of provision in the rules. The provision is in the Act where they can go to the regulatory authority and regulatory authority can take necessary steps for completion of that project. What are these including necessary Including taking steps? over that project from that particular builder and handing it over to some other builder. Very there good. are various provisions which are provided under that. It is not as if that they are left optionless or they are left to the mercy of that particular builder. <coughs> if those, whoever those unfortunate I... consumers are, if they take appropriate steps, so all of us come, will have to they can go. File a complaint so to all of us will have to go to Rera. We'll all have to file complaints. We'll all have to stand in line all over again. Uday Bavikar, how is this different from Consumer Court? It, I mean, uh, as, as far as Rera is concerned, total washout uh, even yes. in litigation procedure because at the uh, you are you are at the tribunal level, that is district level. You will get an order. Then you go to the state level. You will get an order, and that will be challenged in the respective High Court. And once there is a stay from the High Court with the battalion of lawyers, the builder has in command. If there is a stay in the High Court, how many years it will go? Shiri should join me here. How many years of litigation in the High Court takes and what will be the cost? And where the consumer will go and wait? Agreed. Rajan Madhikar, you wanted to respond to this? I think this is anticipation. No, it's an experience. We all are. Show me, let us have the record of disposal of the High Court. I the agree. final hearing. No, no, I agree. There is a time Let my learned friend make a statement here that I quote, there is 80% disposal of the matters. They are admitted. Okay, I have Andy. There is, I have Andy on the phone line right now. Andy, yes. the race is on the phone line. Andy, you're on the show. Go ahead. Uh, yes, ma'am. My, my concern is um, of uh, relatives uh, robbing the uh, 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 robbing the uh, share of the property. Uh, so I've been abroad. I came to my home. Uh, my uh, uh, father's property that um, that uh, uh, my father died intestate. Mm. My brother's uh, been living over here, even though I've been coming and visiting my mom. And when I came in, my brother 
So your brother that has taken it. over your apartment. You want to know how to get it back? Technically, yes, that that's yes. that's an argument, uh, uh, Uday Bhavikar, that will have to happen in court. It doesn't apply here. The, the real estate regulator can't help him in any way. Andy, my team yes. will get in touch with you and they will tell you how you can yes. work that out and we'll put you in touch with a lawyer who might be able to help you. But focusing back on what we're talking about, all is not lost, viewers. They, we still have 14 days. We have 14 days in which we can put down suggestions and objections and give it to the Maharashtra government, remind the Maharashtra government the purpose of RERA, remind the Maharashtra government its own purpose and why it has to do this job. That is a, a job that we will take on here on this channel. But I want to do a round of questions to everyone on this panel on what suggestion they believe should be given to the Maharashtra government. I will start with Mr. Deshpande. Shrish Deshpande, other than the fact the Maharashtra government should be reminded of its political intention and what that should ideally be, what other suggestion can we give them? Well, there could be a number of suggestions, but as regards the discussion what we had today, uh, two important suggestions that particularly as regards this uh, clause on this uh, percentage, uh, this thing, fixing the price on the receipt of the occupation certificate, you know, and if there is a less area and more area, yes, it needs to be actually corrected by putting a cap on that. And there could be only a practical error of area and not yes. the intentional area. And in, in that case, maybe one or two percent here and there should be allowed so that it cannot be abused and misused by the builders. Otherwise, as you rightly which, put it, which, this which uh, provision can be grossly abused to the de detriment of the consumers by the developers. Yes. So there should be a ceiling of 1 or 2 percent here or there. That is less It should be or allowed more. for construction error. And, and, and I will also yes, add to that, if it is yeah. more than that, then there should be an exit clause also to be allowed yes. at the option of the consumers. If they want to opt out, then. But otherwise, 1 to 2 percent, that's all. Otherwise, it is likely to be misused, number one. Number two, as regards the escrow account and all the things, the cost, how to be built up and all, Everything has to be defined. What is the marketing cost? What is the legal cost? And all that thing. And that has to be supported with the yes. papers yes. and vouchers. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Other than that, definitely. Right. So, so I'll, 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 I'll regards, come back to you, Sri Sispandi. I'll come back to you, Dev Avikar. Yeah. What is your suggestion My for the Maharashtra government? My suggestion is uh, the dilution of the escrow account has to be blocked in. You have to say even ongoing going project will be included. Karnataka, uh, RERA had done it. So many states have so done it. So retrospectively, the money has to be brought back in? No, that either, would, either, either money or given a proper accounting yes. of money to what extent you have utilized in the project because at least that accountability is required. Uh, otherwise, siphoning of the money would have been already done. So therefore, that accountability must be brought in. As far as conveyance is concerned, it has to be a total conveyance within one month, very good from the registration of society. But you can't hail back the podium parking and the basement. You can't say uh, <coughs> three months after the occupation certificate, whichever is earlier, that is also not correct. So that or clause of the occupation certificate is expected to be taken before allowing okay. the occupation. Harshad, Harshad, the business of loans that have already been paid off being included in the cost of construction. Is that not a suggestion that we should make to the government? It needs to be removed, and there has to be clarity that they have included that that. In, I think in we rules? should. I think what, as far as that is concerned, I think the heading needs to be clarified and well defined. Hmm. It probably, I think, what is happening here is because there are no proper definitions provided under the rules that we are constructing it this way or that way. And these I think rules were written by lawmakers. Yes, I agree. These more rules were written by by lawmakers, by lawyers more themselves. More clarity is required to be brought by introducing various definitions to various issues. Secondly, I also agree on that cap should be there of 1%, maximum 2%, yes. um, not more than that. And as far as the earlier question which you had put, hmm. I think uh, uh, bringing back the money would have its own complications and uh, further litigations where constitutional validity of such rule can be challenged or whatever. But a step further can be taken where the builder can be asked to demonstrate in a proper manner supported by document how and within what time he is going to complete that project. I think that would but you know, let me, the, let, me, let me point out to you, yeah, I think, there is see, no there lack are, of promises from developers who have no I'm intention not, sorry. to finish projects. I didn't suggest I by saying it should be promises. Yeah. I think there should be a definite and concrete proposal 
supported by his chartered accountant and uh, chartered accountants and architects <laughs> one second i have sir, someone on the phone no, line we can't I have someone, that, i'm sorry sir, pragnesh gandhi is on the phone line pragnesh gandhi and these are real examples people who are actually calling in to share their stories pragnesh gandhi go ahead you're on the show yeah yeah uh, basically uh, uh, good evening uh, 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 panel uh, basically my question is that i'm uh, right now my proposal is going on uh, with the builder and uh, he initially he gave us a letter of uh, uh, 525 square feet and then as the matter was actually forming up, again he gave us a letter of 516 square feet our carpet area and now finally he has actually given us a third letter of 511 square feet hmm. so he keep on changing the uh, uh, carpet area and uh, uh, when we calculate our uh, uh, you know uh, uh, area of uh, when uh, which will be given to us where he says that uh, where, where we see that it is even lesser than you know uh, what he is committing actually now has the builder changing? has the builder in this case been forthcoming pragnesh have you found yeah. that he wants to help you that he's been forthcoming with information no, that he shared he building plans with you when yeah. you went and asked no no nothing nothing a building plan he has shared with us a copy but uh, he uh, uh, but there also we, we we i could see that my it's actual it's area we, uh, you know is lesser than what he has actually committed is less than what he's actually committed has he given you the title deeds of the land that you are that he is building on nothing nothing he's nothing he's not given you the title so deeds of he's yeah. given you copies of the pro, of the uh, registration that uh, or the deals in fact nothing. in fact ours is a redevelopment project and mm. lot of uh, documents that the earlier builder had never parted with the society and the society society has asked for it but somehow the builder builder has so far not given to us Has the builder made disclosures of who he has borrowed loans from, and if he's mortgaged anything, or who he owns owes nothing, money nothing, to? Nothing. No information. Absolutely no information has been parted so far with us. Do you want to share with us the name of the builder, Pragnesh? Uh, uh, I, I, uh, okay. I mean, right now I don't want to share, but uh, uh, why don't you? Fear of the builder. Yeah. Are you afraid yeah, of the builder, Pragnesh? Yeah, yeah. You're afraid of the builder. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You're afraid of the builder. That is the point, that ladies and gentlemen. Point. Uh, I'll which like I'm going to one second, Aditya. I just that that's the point that I'm going to leave this show on. We have someone here who knows he is being cheated. We have someone here who's not been given access to any information, and this is redevelopment, which means that his his home that he already owned is now part of this whole thing. He can't get it back out, and he is too afraid to name the builder on this show. He is afraid that the builder will never give him his home. This is what we are talking about. We are not talking about the good guys who actually need a two percent here and there and actually have made an error in construction. We are talking about the cheats, the ones who don't disclose information, the ones who are constantly trying to look for a profit, the ones who are constantly trying to look for higher <coughs> efforts. These are the ones who need to be regulated. There is no argument that the fact that these people exist in this industry, they should be shaken out of the industry, they should be driven out of business, they should be made to shut shop permanently. and this regulatory authority as designed by the maharashtra government has ensured that that will never happen has ensured that people like pragnesh gandhi will constantly be afraid of developers and they will never see justice and that the only way they will have to see justice is if they hire a, a lawyer and go to court and stand in line and appeal their case and go date after date after date from court after court after court and never see justice that unfortunately ladies and gentlemen is where we are tonight but the fight is not done the fight for error that we started last year on this channel will continue and we will wait and fight and make a noise until the maharashtra government corrects these rules thanks for watching you can watch live tv on our website mbnow.in find us on facebook at facebook.com/magicbricksnow And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com/magicbricksnow.